Chapter 8, Control Unit Settings. Lock Screen. To lock the touch screen during treatment, go to the Settings menu and select the Lock Screen option. Confirm that you want the screen to lock by pressing the Yes button. You can confirm that the screen is locked by visualizing the lock icon in the top right hand of the screen. To unlock the touch screen, press and hold the lock icon. The control unit will instruct you to hold it down for approximately five seconds. To confirm that the screen has been unlocked, the lock icon will no longer be visible. ICP measurement settings. To change the pressure measurement settings, go to the settings menu. Select the millimeters of mercury or centimeters of water option. Then select your desired measurement. Once you confirm your selection, the control unit will return to the main screen. Irrigation fluid volume. To adjust the volume of irrigation solution, go to the settings menu. Choose your irrigation fluid volume from 500 milliliters, one liter, or another volume to be entered. Confirm you have selected the correct volume and press the continue button. Single ICP measurement. To perform a single ICP measurement, go to the settings menu and press the ICP measurement option. This will pause treatment for one minute to accurately measure ICP. Confirm you want to pause treatment. During this time, the measuring ICP scale will appear allowing the user to assess the current ICP waveform. Prime. If at any point during treatment you feel the system needs to be reprimed, ensure that you are disconnected from the catheter and connect the irrigation and drainage tubing. Press the settings menu and select the prime system option. You will be able to choose between auto prime and manual prime. Bolus. If you would like to deliver a manual bolus, you can do so in two separate ways. Press the manual bolus button on the left border of the control unit. Choose between delivering a 0.5 or 1 milliliter bolus. Confirm your selection, then press yes. You can also deliver a manual bolus through the control unit settings. Press the settings menu and select the bolus option. Choose between 0.5 or 1 milliliter bolus. Confirm your selection, then press yes. Screen brightness. You can adjust the brightness of the control unit screen in two ways. Select the sun icon at the bottom of the screen and adjust the brightness accordingly. You can also go to the control unit settings and select the brightness option. Choose a level of brightness to your liking and return to the main screen. Language. To change the language of the control unit, press the settings menu. Select the language option and choose your desired language. Once set, return to the main screen. Date and time. To modify the current date and time of the control unit, press the settings menu. Select the date and time option. Using the touch screen, you can adjust the settings to the correct and current date and time. Once set, return back to the main screen. Thank you for watching the Aeroflow System educational training videos. We hope you found these videos helpful and we're excited for you to use the Aeroflow technology to therapeutically treat intracranial bleeding. Aeroflow's unique mechanism of action, active fluid exchange, addresses the historical shortcomings of legacy drainage technology by offering automated irrigation, controlled drainage, and continuous ICP monitoring all in one system. If you have additional questions, please reference the Aeroflow instructions for use, download the Eris Academy app, or contact your Eris sales professional. Mm -hmm.